because you are a super producer uh -huh. in your own right. Super producer, mega talented, my guy, hit maker. So we've all heard these songs. Work, 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 work. It's a me, I be work, 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 work. God's plan. God's plan. The man behind these hits is Boy Wonder. He's one of the most decorated hip hop producers of all time and has over 60 platinum plaques and three diamond, which he has achieved in a career spanning over 15 years, developing with one of our generation's greatest artists. But how has Boy Wonder dominated the music industry? Let's look at the evolution of Boy Wonder's legendary sound. Let's start with one of his most popular songs and one of his personal favorites. Pound Cake by Drake, yes. I love that beat. One of my favorite beats I've ever made. Pound Cake's definitely up there. Pound Cake was released on Drake's 2013 album, Nothing Was The Same. And the song starts with a sample of Jimmy Smith's rap. Good God Almighty, like back in the old days. To which Boy Wonder got someone to add some chords and some synthesized brass. I had somebody play some chords over it and I added drums to it. How to play it, you know, whether it's disco or rock. But uh, we just went to the studio and we did it. This then drops into this masterpiece. It's here today and going tomorrow. Boy Wonder sampled the intro of Ellie Goulding's Don't Say A Word and pitched up these four vocal chops one semitone and added a filter effect to it. Boy Wonder then got someone to play the roads on this just to fill out the melody. Boy Wonder then adds these minimalistic, super simple drums, featuring a hard kick and slapping snare. Along with this, this very quiet sub bass is added. So we see this little ghost kick here. This is something Boy Wonder does a lot. The vocals come from Wu Tang's Cream. I scoured YouTube and I could not find the version they used. I think they got the direct acapella. So the beauty of Pound Cake is it leaves so much space for Drake and Jay-Z, something we know Drake loves. I used to put like a bunch of sounds in my beats. I remember him picking apart an old song we did a long time ago called City Is Mine. He's like, I like this beat. He's like, well, take this off, take this off, take this off. It's like yeah. so bare now, but like when he went in the studio and did his thing on it, I was like, oh, I get it. And mm -hmm. he actually taught me like less is more. So that is the full track and was the easiest remake of the three. Next was one of Boy Wonder's favorite albums. That's one of my favorite albums from him. If you're reading this, it's too late. Released in 2015, Boy Wonder said Drake wanted to go off in these tracks and he really complimented that with his production. I think his intent on if you're reading this was just to go off like he has said in interviews he likes to sample little random things he hears and even sampled transformers for one of his battle of the beat makers competition i don't necessarily dig i'll like hear something out of nowhere and i'll just be like you know that sounds cool i feel like i could sample that six god samples donkey kong's haunted chase in which this tiny section is looped Boy Wonder then pitches the sample down and sticks it in Fruity Slicer, giving it this choppy effect, something we also see and hear him do lots. To this, I added a lot of effects. Before we get to the bridge, let me show the drums. Featuring only four drums, we will start with the snare bounce and the hi-hat. And the snare bounce is kind of unorthodox. Boy Wonder has also said he likes to offset certain parts of the drums. I offset things. I'll go and shift a few things to make it sound a little mm -hmm. bit natural. Try to kick the kick and the snare around. Like I try to keep back. those on the grid, but like okay. everything else, I'll like move it around. And with this hi-hat waveform, we can see it has this little gap at the beginning, therefore offset. This is um, complemented with a hard hit in 808 and kick. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I had to give it that knock, you know? Then we have this bit. Worst. He says he learned in Battle of the Beatmakers to keep it fresh, whether that's filtering out a section, taking a section out. And he does this here towards the end of the track, where a filter is put on, a pad is added, and a little synth melody is added, and also a sub bass to fill up that low end. Which then drops perfectly back in. This track shows the evolution from Boy Wonder's almost boom bap style drums to the high energy trap hitting drums in this track. 
Lastly, we have 2021's Mafia by Travis Scott. The piano melody in this was made by frequent collaborator Jahan Sweet, which is kind of luxurious yet dark sounding. The velocities are everything in this to get it sounding right. I rendered it out and pitched the whole thing down one octave. Again, Boy Wonder doesn't use many drum sounds, featuring a hi-hat with rolls and a clap and snare layered, with this perk and this open hat for extra bounce. I chose BWB drums, cause in every video we see of him cooking up, he always uses these kits. And lastly is this 808, which plays an unorthodox pattern. To keep the track interesting, another piano melody is added with some reverse sections of this piano melody in. This is then just repeated throughout the track, showing the simplicity and showing how much space Travis Scott has. These tracks will be over on my Patreon if you want a more in-depth look. It's quite hard to get Boy Wonder style down because one song he does sounds like this. And another sounds like this. Got a lot of bands, got a lot of Chanel on me. Uh. But I'm gonna go for that hard trap sound. So we've seen Boy Wonder likes the sample, so for beat one, let's find a sample. So I'm here on Tracklip and they have this Drake inspired collection, so I'm gonna listen through these. <laughs> Okay, I can see Drake going off on this one. And now let's turn on the beat play just to make sure it fits. So now let's download the whole track. Today's video is sponsored by Tracklib. Tracklib is an online record store featuring over 100,000 previously released records, which is constantly being updated. The format for finding the samples you want to use is super easy featuring these collections, making it super easy to find the type of samples you need. I'll have my sign up link in the description, which gets you a one month free trial and 15 free credits. Be sure to sign up that after this video and let's get back into it. So the bits that are off, I've just stretched to tempo. Now let's open it in a fruity slicer. Boy Wonder always does this to get that choppy effect. Now let's get that Boy Wonder slap before we add further melodies. How would you describe your sound a certain way? Loud, the shit hits. We got that slap going on. And let's get that odd sort of snare bounce. Get that ghost kick in too. And let's add this like kick roll like in mob ties. This part in the beat right here, my elbow like ran across it by accident. It just sounded cool because like it just comes out of nowhere. And then let's offset the hi-hats a touch. So we know he uses Omnisphere from these screenshots. So let's grab a sub bass from there. So in this clip, we see him using Fab Filter Volcano. Some of the secret to your production is that you change things up often. You just gotta give people different emotions, like the beat dropping out, filter, ready to get them excited. And when this filter bit comes in, I added this simple melody and this 808. And for the final hook, I added these strings. We do know Boy Wonder uses 60 sounding samples. So I went for this luxurious sound. So I started off with these three analog labs, just playing some dark chords, which I started adding orchestral elements with a piano, some strings. And also these low trumpets and this bass. So let's do like Boy Wonder would do, pitch it down, speed it up and open it in Fruity Slicer. So let's start off with the drums slow and build them up. Followed by the 808 and some open hearts. Now let's use some perks like in Mafia. And then for the second verse, I totally change up the 808 and the hi-hat. There's two slides at the end, that signature Toronto sound. To find out how Metro Boom became a super producer, check this video out. 